put a little bit of wood graining in there, all you have to do is side load. Start on my chisel, end on my chisel. Start on my chisel, end on my chisel. And what I usually do when I'm doing wood graining is I make subsequently smaller strokes, one inside the other. And the, the, the shape that I take, I try to mimic that each time I float. So if I put a little wiggle in there, I want to continue that little wiggle. And use the water edge of your brush to smooth and soften that. Another thing that I like to do is sometimes I'll flip the brush over so my paint is, going, is um, on the other side. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to mimic that so that it kind of enhances it. And you can come back in and you can refine some of those if you want to make some look a little more deep. Another wood grain that I like to do is just really just to kind of pull little chisel strokes down like that. And again, I'm going to stretch it with the water edge. Again, I start on the chisel edge, walk it down, and create my shape, subsequently becoming smaller and smaller, and use the water edge of your brush to stretch it. You can flip the brush over and kind of mimic it. And again, I use that water edge to soften and smear. To make a knot hole, you can come in and just put the little center there. You can float around it like so. Float under it maybe a couple times. Makes it pretty simple. You don't have to make this elaborate of wood grain on your fence. This is just I just wanted to share with you a little bit how I do some of the wood grain.